And thanks for staying with us in Midday. We are taking your questions now for veterinarian David Graff, 365-9999, if you've got a question. And we've got Jerry on the line with a question about cats, appropriately enough. Go ahead with your question. Can you hear us? Um, I have a question on cat discipline. Okay. You can go ahead. Um, it's trying to keep them from jumping up on the counter and tables. Yeah. Well, you've got two choices. You can either surrender to the idea that your cat's going to jump up and get on top of things. Cats love... Or, or bite your microphone. Yeah, <laughs> cats love vertical surfaces. In my house, I have uh, lots of vertical surfaces where, where my cat can get up high and, and look over her domain. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you can either surrender to it and allow your cat to do it, or you can try booby trapping. There are noise booby traps that are uh, motion sensors mm -hmm. that you can find them at Halloween. They're the kind they put oh, out yeah, by yeah. your door uh -huh. and that scream. You can put those up on your, where you don't want the kitty to go. And then when the kitty jumps up on there, uh, it's set off by the noise sensor and the, the, the minute sound and make the wild and crazy kitty <laughs> go, go away. Interesting the, idea. This is Butterscotch. She's a, uh, uh, kitten from the Cedar Rapids Animal Shelter and this is her brother who's very calm and sedate and his his name is Sunkist. Okay. And they're both available at the Cedar Rapids Animal Control. What a pretty color. For a butterscotch color. Yes. Very appropriately enough. And butterscotch. she's chewing on the mic. So. <laughs> Loving so the mic. Part, pardon all that noise. Uh, we've got another caller on the line with a question. Go ahead with your question. If you can hear us, go ahead. Chris, can you hear us? Yeah. Go ahead with your question. Um, I've got a five-year-old Doberman uh, dog that uh, he's never really liked dry dog food, so we've always kind of mixed it with a little bit of chicken. Um, and then it got to be it just constantly where he had to have that mixed. And I'm try I try to wean him off the chicken. Right. Um, and so I started adding canned food. And now it's at the point where that's getting real expensive. Sure. And I He's guess my dog. question is, how do you wean a dog off well, of mixing this food. He, he's, uh, he's not going to starve himself to death. And so I would just wean back day by day, a little bit at a time, um, m maybe take two or three weeks to do it, okay? okay. And I would uh, just gradually w cut down on the canned and increase on the dry. And, and I promise you, he won't starve himself to death. I would feed him twice a day okay. for 15 minutes per meal and then pick it up. I would not let him eat smorgasbord style. Okay. I would I would cause him to eat in meals, and this will help you to get him eating the way you want him to eat by teaching him first to eat in meals. Good advice. Thank you so much for coming in today. Happy to be here. And uh, coming up tomorrow, we will be talking with Rob Merrick from TCR about the production of Christmas Carol, which opens on Friday. Stay with us. We'll be right back.